How to lose 20 pounds. Hi everyone. How are you? Welcome to the High Fitness by Weakness channel. Today I'm gonna share with you how to lose 20 pounds. There is no one perfect recipe for it, however by focusing on several proven tips you can determine what causes the acceleration of the weight loss process and allows a more conscious passage through it. I present 5 tips that will answer how to lose 20 pounds and even more in a healthy and balanced way. 1. Eat breakfast. The statement that breakfast is the most important meal of the day always appears in the context of healthy nutrition considerations. Breakfast is also the most important meal from a weight loss perspective. It is recommended to eat them up to an hour after waking up. And it has nothing to do with the activity of digestive enzymes in the morning and the theory that the stomach would digest itself. The stomach will not digest itself, neither in the morning nor during famine in the evening or never. Eating breakfast every day prevents snacking between meals and helps control hunger pangs. Skipping breakfast may seem like an effective way to reduce calories, but according to analyzers, people who don't eat breakfast eat more for dinner and throughout the day. Scientific studies show that people who eat breakfast lose weight faster and easier to maintain their new body weight after losing weight. One study showed that those for whom breakfast was the main meal lost an average of 15 pounds in 3 months. However, in the group in which participants ate the same amount of calories, but the biggest meal was dinner, the average decrease was just over 5 pounds. What to eat for breakfast? Specialists agree that protein is the most important thing for slimming people in breakfast. Recently fashionable protein fat breakfasts are a sensational solution because they keep you feeling full for a long time. For comparison, an omelette from two eggs fried on a tablespoon of fat with arugula and smoked salmon, approximately 320 kilocalories, satisfies hunger for a woman for about four hours and even longer. Three sandwiches made of wholemeal bread, thinly buttered with cured meat and vegetables, approximately 350 kilocalories, allow you not to think about food for a maximum of three hours. 2. Eat carbohydrates with up to two meals. Food products can be very generally divided into carbohydrates, fat, and protein, looking at the ingredient they have the most. Limiting the frequency of the appearance of simple sugars and starch additives in meals is one of the simplest methods of rational weight loss. This minimizes the rise in blood sugar levels, and thus affects low and stable insulin levels. Insulin circulating in large quantities promotes greater conversion of glucose into adipose tissue and inhibits glucagon, an insulin antagonist that enables the conversion of adipose tissue into energy. From the perspective of a person who is slimming, we will treat bread, cereal, rice, potatoes, pasta, cereals and other cereal products as well as fruit as carbohydrates. We will not include vegetables here, which also provide small amounts of carbohydrates but mainly in the form of fiber. Remember that dairy products cannot always be included in the protein category. Yogurt, kefir and buttermilk provide virtually the same amount of sugars and protein. 3. Remember that eating healthy is not the same as eating healthy products. You can often hear, but I eat healthy and not lose weight. And indeed many people do not eat sweets or fast food and cannot cope with being overweight. The menu of such people usually looks similar, for breakfast porridge with fruit, at work a sandwich or fruit, for lunch meat with porridge and vegetables, and for dinner sandwiches made of wholemeal bread. There are no unhealthy products here. However, there are those that constantly stimulate the pancreas to secrete insulin. Nowadays, when most of us move very little, have a sedentary job and do not work physically, we do not need such amounts of carbohydrates to ensure energy delivery and feel good. Healthy eating does not mean giving up fat. In turn, we need healthy fat to build the brain and nervous system, while cholesterol is just one of many risk factors for heart disease, and important hormones are produced from it. To put it simply, you put on weight mainly on carbohydrates, not on fat. The diet should consist of 30 to 40, and sometimes even 50% fat. What happens then? People lose weight very well and don't suffer because they are full. Let us also remember that not everyone will find that every product that is generally considered healthy will be good. It is worth looking at your body, its reactions to consumed food and the breakdown of macronutrients during the day. This way you can notice food intolerances and products that simply do not serve us. For one, starch supplements at dinner are a good solution, for another at supper. 
some feel good eating dairy products, while others feel bad. Similar examples can be multiplied, which shows that the recipe for how to lose 20 pounds for each will be slightly different. 4. Don't eat too much fruit. Eating fruit between meals is such a common problem among people on a diet that in my opinion deserves to be highlighted among the recommendations on how to lose 20 pounds. Eating sweets cannot be replaced by eating fruit, because it is also a very abundant source of simple sugars. These are natural sugars that are accompanied by many vitamins, antioxidants, minerals and fiber, but they are still sugars. Fruits are not an unpunished snack and affect the carbohydrate metabolism just like bread or sweets, you get fat from excess. People are surprised when there is no satisfactory result on weight after eating an extra kilo of cherries. It's just fruit. Yes, healthy and very needed in the menu, but you have to skillfully put them there. 5. Work on internal motivation. Changes do not take place alone, and the decision to lose weight should be aware, thought out and result from your own internal needs. Urging by a family or a doctor's warning is not enough if we do not feel that we need to lose pounds. Losing 20 pounds is a job for 2 to 3 months, which is why straw enthusiasm and excitement with a new task are not enough. To begin with, you need to ask yourself a question, why do I do it and write out all the potential benefits associated with weight loss, for example. I will feel better, my test results will improve, I will learn new things about nutrition, my self-satisfaction will increase. It is worth making a table and writing in it what we will gain and what we will lose, how we lose weight and vice versa, what we will gain and what we will lose if nothing changes. A very effective method to increase motivation is to keep a nutrition diary and keep track of everything you eat during the day. More information about the approach to food and changes in the way of eating will tell us an additional record of the level of hunger before and after a meal, information about the place of eating a meal and the accompanying emotions. Keeping track of your food also lets you lose weight faster. This is confirmed by a 6-month study conducted with 1,685 overweight and obese people, the results of which were published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine. People who saved their meals at least 6 times a week lost weight about 2 times more than those who kept records once a week or less often. It is very important to set the right goal. The goal should be real, measurable and definite in time. I want to lose 20 pounds in 2 weeks is a measurable and time goal but unrealistic. It will only lead to frustration. And that's it for today. Remember that just watching this video will do nothing to you if you don't take action. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you are looking for something that can really help you lose weight please check the link in description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to receive new powerful videos. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Have a great day and see you in the next video.